I've just taken a, a short virtual tour of a space station inside of Mindful Games Poland. Uh, a new virtual reality experience. Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of game this is and what kind of experience you're, you're aiming for? Uh, Poland is a first person exploration game. It's a slow paced adventure in a Saturnian moon Titan where players player is uh, exploring a space base and trying to find out what's happened there. So basically it's one of those things where I can't get you to t tell us anything about the story because that is what you're experiencing in the game. Right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so it's quite hard to tell about that without revealing too much. But, but I guess there's a starting point for the player. Uh, who are you as the player and then... And a uh, player is a new recruitment um, in the base and uh, well, can't go much further than that, but anyway, um, well, there's, there has been a staff of uh, people working there who have uh, disappeared suddenly. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's so, so the premise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, w what is it about this concept that you feel is sort of very uh, marriage as well with, uh, with virtual reality? Well, it's like action games are really fast paced and they are they can get quite um, difficult to play especially in VR so and uh, as, and uh, we really like ad old adventure games and we felt that VR is really good uh, really good uh, like element or way to tell uh, an adventure and a good story because player can actually uh, experience the story him or herself it also feels like uh, one thing that it demands from the, the game developer is that you really have to put down a lot of detail in the world and in the objects because that is sort of the thing with VR. We want to see these things, we want to touch these things, we want to, you know, the, it feels like it puts a higher demand on, on perhaps the, car the, the design of the environment. Yeah, so because we are a small studio, how we decided to approach the, uh, well, the problem and uh, workload is that our space is quite, uh, well, not tight. I mean, there are lots of uh, area to explore in the game, but anyway, compared to some open world stuff, it's, it's quite small. So that way we are able to keep the places full of objects and interesting elements which player can explore and uh, interact with. Because uh, for us, it's really important to keep the world dynamic so that traditionally your game is, or game environments are quite static and in VR it's really stupid if you see a cup on the table but you can pick it up it's just not nice and uh, we try to avoid that as much as we can. So at, at this year's E3 it's really been a lot about VR and, and new devices that are being announced etc etc. It's got to be kind of exciting for you who have sort of been developing this for a while and now you're seeing this sort of it's finally getting there it's finally sort of close to being uh, realized. Yeah well it is but in a way, it was bound to happen because when, when you tried DK1 for the first time, you were like, okay, this isn't just an upgrade to your current 3D display. It, it's just so much more immersed and com something completely new. So that, and, I mean, even DK1 was too cool to fail. So, um. so what, what do you think about the latest iterations of, of Oculus Rift and, and the new Vive that was announced here? And, and what, what, are your, what do you think of those? Well, it's just great that the hardware keeps developing and, and I just tried Crescent Bay and it's just way, way better experience than DK2 that you just tested. And it's like, uh, well, I just find it fascinating that it's so, so immersive and real and um, you really don't see it like a low resolution display anymore. Now, I guess that, that was one of those final obstacles because you don't want to be distracted by the pixels uh, when you're, when you're yeah. immersing yourself. Yeah, exactly. And the frame rate and latency and all that stuff, it's uh, pretty much solved in my opinion. So mm. we're ready to go. <laughs> and, and you're developing this for PC. Is it, is it also in plans for PS4 and Morpheus? Or? Uh, yeah, well, initially it's Windows and PC, but we, we uh, want to port Poland to as many platforms as we can, especially if platform, f platform has VR support, we want to go there. So uh, Sony and Morpheus are really interesting um, platform for us. Yeah. We're talking a lot about VR, but obviously you can also experience the game without VR, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. It's completely playable without a uh, headset. 
Just not not as cool. Yeah, no. <laughs> but no game is as, as cool without a VR kit. <laughs> Very true. So uh, when do you when do you hope to be ready with the game and ship it and so on and so forth? Uh, we will be releasing it later this year. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks.